Check it out, man. Look at this sky. I don't know if this camera will do it justice or not, but look, look over there. It's it's coming a mother of a storm. It's right on top of us. A spider there. And a spider there. Out getting their lunch. Look at that sky, man. Look over there. Wow. All right, today we're going to. Well, I got stuff in there. I can't hold it up. Uh, get mirrors in there. I gotta get them out. This is a Martin Triple White guitar. We're gonna set it up today, string it up. I haven't glued the nut in it yet. Uh, probably will do that, but I want to set the nut action first before I ever glue the nut in there. So come on over. Let's get into setting, uh, putting this thing together. Put a couple strings on it, and let's do it. All right, welcome back, friends. This guitar is going to get uh, these are strings the owner sent with it, and they are Martin Light uh, 12. It says MM12 nickel retro strings. And that would be uh, 12, 15, 25, 31, 41, and 54 gauges. I just want to put two strings on it right now. The first one, the two E strings. I'm going to put on it right now, and uh, that way we can see if we're anywhere near the ballpark or not. Here's the first E. Well, that's the okay, 54. I want that one, but I don't want it right now. <laughs> Let's see, okay, there's 12. Yeah, here we go. It's all good. So, how y'all doing, man? How's the world been treating you? I hope you're doing just great. That feels like that string's hanging up on the... Oh, I should have had these ready, man. I always turn the keys so they're right and ready to stick the string right in whenever I get ready. Didn't do it this time. Quite a bit of string to wrap around here. So here we go. I want to wind down. Yeah, it's going down toward the headstock. Always, always, always. I get ready to slip in that new nut. I'm not going glue to glue it in yet because we want to check and see what the first fret action is going to be. That's a good fit, man. Okay. And uh, the low E. That'd be 54, I would think. And I'll probably not keep you here for this complete thing. Because I figure you know how to string up a guitar. If not, search this channel. I got plenty of videos on it. Damn, I forgot to set that one too. I didn't set any of them. I like to have the hole turned a certain way. I can't make you see it, so there's no use to try. Oh, I can't see it, man. Don't need as much winding on this side. And we wind downward. Maybe I will just keep you here for this. Why not, right? I haven't really even cut the screws. Might be just about right. Okay. Man, what you need is always on the bottom, isn't it? Sure seems that way to me. Go ahead and get them out of the way. Now I'm going to bring these up to pitch. And I'll bring you back after I do that and then we'll measure that. See if we're anywhere close to... Close to where we need to be. That's a pretty nut, man. Wow, pretty nuts. Okay. 
close enough for government work, man. Now I've got 15, 12, 44 thousandths right here. I see that base string is really high, and I think it's it's actually a little bit more higher than 44 thousandths, but I'm going to go with that. Just leave a little bit of room for error. This string here, take a 10 and an 8 right here, and it's perfect, man. It just exactly, you probably can't see that. Well, yeah, maybe you can. So I had 44 out. We want 16. Uh, 44 minus 16 is uh, 28. That's what I got to remove from the nut, 28 thousandths. So let's do, I'll, I'll just do that and then I won't hold you up for it, or maybe I will, I don't know. I've got to loosen the strings. <laughs> Alright, I've already got 28 picked out here. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. I only need to, to file away, <coughs> away from the the base side okay I don't need to take any off of that side so I, I'm gonna hold this 28 down there stand the nut up I can hold on to it with these screwed up hands and I'm gonna stand that 28 up there and just mark it and right there is how much I gotta remove can you see that I can't see the camera man yeah I think you can see it so I'll bring you back when I get that done. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll bring you along. Hold on. All right, here's what I did. I marked it, 28,000, put it in the vise here, and there's only 28 sticking out right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It ain't very much. This side is flat, so we don't need to take any off that. This side, we want to take 28 off of. So let's go do that, and then we'll try the, try the nut action again. Majestically within seconds of your time, it's flat with the vise now all the way across. I didn't take any off of the high side, the high end rather. Took it right down to the line. It should be just almost perfect. Wow, well, where'd that string go? I guess I could loosen that a little bit more probably. Now, I'm going to tune it back up again. Take me a few minutes to get it up to pitch. I'll bring you right back and we'll check it out. Hold on. All right. We're in tune. That looks good. 440. Now, let me have. A 10 and an 8. Here's the 10. Alright. Yeah, that's it's 18 thousandths, man. That's perfect. And I want to leave that there because I may have to uh, file on these nut slots a little bit more. I don't know how deep they're going to be or anything. So I'll bring I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the strings on it. And I'll bring you back. And we'll see if we got to file that thing or not. And then I gotta take the nut back out and glue it in. <laughs> so let's do it! I know when I glue a neck on, I know it's gonna hold. I didn't glue the snack on, the owner did. I hope he did it right, man. Seems to be holding okay. I glued the bridge on. The neck was already on it when it got here. Seems to be holding. I stretched those out.
All righty, strung up. I think these guitars are going to sound pretty good, man. We got some problems, though. I need to talk to the owner and see what he likes his uh, action and nut action and all that jazz and neck relief set at. I've got a 10 and an 8 here. I like mine between 16 and 18 thousandths. Boy, that's right on the money. Check that out, man. It don't, it don't pull the string when you come out from under it. Uh, tell you what. Let me check that again. With this tool. My old buddy Jerry Rose sent me. Jerry, thank you again, man. Okay, where are we at here? One, two, three, four. This thing has got little uh, numbers on it. They're so tiny, man. I'll have trouble seeing them. That's exactly on 18 thousandths. This one is too. I know it is. It. Okay, that's 18,000. Let's check the neck relief. See, I don't know how hard or how easy the owner plays. I like my neck relief at 12 thousandths. Your mileage may vary if you play harder. I don't play very hard. I'm checking neck relief with this. Uh, this truss rod in this thing. It's got a hole in a brace right here, and you got to use a, well, I don't have it out here. It's a wrench that should be 5 millimeters, what Martins are, and stick it all the way through the block. The truss rod comes down to right there is where it ends at. There's no truss rod inside here like they are most uh, Martins, many Martins, not most of them. All right, uh, where am I at right here? Wow, that's going to be, that's, wow, man. Check that out. It's 12. I won't go under that one without lifting it. Or that one, but it does this one here. I'm going to go back here. See if there's any difference. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter. Really, you should measure it from right there, because that's where the truss rod ends. This back here is not going to adjust. It might. Uh, that's exactly 12, man. It starts to hit right there. I want to leave that alone. Now you can measure your action with that thing too. But instead of measuring the action in thousands, I like to measure mine in sixty-fourths. I just it's a a personal preference. It's just something that I've always liked doing. Always did. I guess you're in the camera. I can see now the action's pretty high. Wow, pick it. Bastard up wrong every time. Every single time. Alright, the high Easter ring. 12th fret. Yeah, it's 864s, man. Very close to it. And 864s on the low E. That's pretty high. In thousands, that's roughly. Uh, 110 thousandths looks like yeah 110 thousandths 110 maybe it could be 120 thousandths it's, it's that close to either one of those <laughs> I'd say probably 115 thousandths is what it is if you're measuring in thousandths yeah See, I don't want to do anything to that because I don't know what he, how he likes his action or his neck relief. Shit, man. We're as far as we can go, I guess. If I measure with this tool, this measures 111.5 thousandths. 
0.5. And 11 and a half. That's, that's really high. And I can measure this up here. I don't know if I use this or not. On this 18. That's what we like. Yeah. 18 thousandths on the money. As long as I've been using these feelers gauges, you know, if I look and that's the first thing I see, that's what I pick up. I'll give you a little taste. what we'll do folks is uh, I'll have to talk to the owner and see what he wants the action set at and then we'll make another video I'll set the rest of it up to his specs and then he'll finally get to really hear it I'll play a little more on it it'll give me a little bit more time to practice too I need it bad I haven't been playing very much so thanks for watching Look forward to seeing you next time.